The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the rigging choices that are available to us when we repower with Evernote components. Let's start with a look at how we can connect to the new engines with digital controllability. Here's an old-style manual controller that's been working fine, and there's no reason to believe it's not going to continue to work fine, but we can convert this to digital controllability. I'm going to take these controls out of this harness because they're not going to go in the engine anymore. They're going to go to a position on the boat where they will then connect to the universal repower rigging system. If I open this up, I can run the controller right in, connect to this, which will slide back and forth and send a signal to the plug and sensor. Now when these both go together, I've got both shift and throttle that connect with this wiring harness and then plugs into the engine. And just like that, I've got digital controllability from my mechanical controls. And this digital controllability works so well that we even lose the feedback on our control system. Now, the cost for this, 950 per engine. Now let's take a look at the dedicated digital controllers. It starts with the Icon 2 digital controls for a single engine installation. We've got simple forward, neutral, reverse, progressive, resistance that can be adjusted with the screw, plus we've got an adjustment for the neutral detent. MSRP for this, 1065 Now we move up to the Icon 2 Premium Single Engine Controls, and what do we get? A neutral button, RPM adjust, the indicator for when we're in neutral, an indicator for when we're in neutral and what gear we're in, plus chrome accent. Also, the control stick is a half inch longer. Price for this one, 1900 MSRP. Now we move up to the Icon 2 Premium Multiple Engine Controls for dual engines. This one has the two sticks, all of the same features, plus we include sync so that we can keep the two engines matched to each other. This one has an MSRP, 2900 So, if you're an owner that's really in love with your boat, the repowering decision really comes down to three factors. How much horsepower you want, how much money you want to put into the installation, and what kind of controllability you want to get. And that's my look at Repowering with Evinrude. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.